No, 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 that is too, too much. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. For today's video, I thought I'd test out applying my makeup with the new brushes that I got from my little eco shop. So these were the brushes that I'd seen all over my Facebook feed and I had to try them because they're Bambi, they're vegan and yeah, they're really reasonably priced. Guys, I hope you are all doing well. I literally have taken a whole week off. I've pretty much spent the week in bed enjoying YouTube videos and meditating as well, which was just, oh, it's really what I needed this last week. I've been quite under the weather and I just really needed that time out and it was really, really blissful. So in case you didn't see in my haul the other week, these are the bamboo brushes that I got from my little eco shop. So it's a leather piece set. Now they do call it a professional set. I don't think they are too professional if I am honest. I've got a really tiny one under here as well. The bristles are sticking out all over the place, but it did say on the website that first few uses, because they are handmade, the first few uses you can expect some malting going on. So you can expect some of the hairs to fall out in the first kind of initial use of the brushes. So I will do my makeup today. I'll give the brushes a really good wash and see if they are looking any better once we've applied makeup and given them a really nice thorough wash. So they are bamboo, they are vegan, they're cruelty free and the bristles are really really soft. I did show in the video of the haul as well all these kind of like bristles sticking up there if you can see that. But yeah let's go ahead and apply some makeup and see how we go. I'm going to be using my body shop makeup today. I'm using Charlotte Tilbury purely as a mirror. I need to get a proper like handheld mirror for when I'm applying my makeup because I use body shop makeup pretty much all the time and you guys have seen me apply body shop makeup a million times well maybe not a million times quite a few times I thought it was only fair to stick with what I normally apply and then we can kind of like really test the brushes out I've done my skincare already and then I'm going to go ahead and use the vitamin C skin reviver from the body shop as a primer these are my fresh nude foundation in Sahara Life. So there are a few options that I could use for foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and try the foundation brush. This is like a flat foundation brush. I don't really like applying my foundation with a flat foundation brush. I find that they generally kind of look like you've got lines all over your face and it never really blends in well enough. But I will try it today. And then I might also try it with this brush as well. More of a buff in style brush. So I don't usually like the flat foundation brushes as I find them a bit too too much like a paintbrush. Usually it leaves quite a few stripy bits but we shall see. No it is going on quite nicely. I can't see that it is multi-jet on my face but I feel like this is one of the better brushes that hasn't kind of got any malting situations on it so this is actually quite nice. But it's all down to preference what kind of brush you like to use. You know I'm going to try this one on this half of the face and then I think I'll do the other half of the face with the other brush that I picked out. So that has applied it really nicely actually. I'm going to use this one now. This one could mold quite a bit. We shall see how we get on. Again, it is buffing it in really nicely. I feel like the flat foundation brush does help if you want a more of a full coverage look. I feel like if you buff in makeup in, then the buffing brushes get more of a kind of natural finish and it blends in really nicely. And I'm all about the natural finish. I like to look like I've got makeup on, but in a really kind of natural way. So I do like the kind of lighter effect that more of a buffing brush gives. I do like that one. I feel like it does blend it in nicely. I really do feel that both brushes have done really well and I haven't got hairs all over my face which was if I'm honest what I was expecting. There is some hairs sticking out of there. It hasn't affected the appearance of applying the makeup. I'm really quite happy with that. I did dye my hair on Saturday so you can see <laughs> literally two days ago it's now monday you can see a little bit of excess hair dye around the hairline so just know that that is hair dye and not bad makeup <laughs> oh look we have got a malting we have got one hair which just came off so it was like a bit more on here 
I do like the application of this. I did kind of worry that because this brush is very, very small, it's a lot smaller than any foundation brush I have ever used in the past. I was worrying that it wouldn't really blend too well, but it really, really has. So again, I'm just gonna be really gentle. I do want that kind of coverage there. I don't wanna be wiping it away. Just cause I find it easier with this brush to go down the neck. I am gonna use this, drag any excess down onto the neck any excess foundation from the brush, blend it out. I'm quite happy with both brushes for applying the foundation. I'm gonna use my Fresh Nude Concealer. This is in 01 Fair. And then my nose is still looking red. So I am gonna apply some of this on that red nose. This brush here, which seems to be a concealer brush. Again, it's got just a couple of little hairs on there. I don't know if you can see those on the camera. I'm just gonna gently blend the concealer in. Now, actually, I normally pat this in first, don't I? So maybe I should have patted first. I'll pat first with my ring finger, get the warmth in, and then I'll blend out any excess. Definitely finding less is more in my mid thirties. <laughs> I always grew up with the concept that less was more. My, my mum always told me, and my nana, you know, when applying makeup, less is more. So I've always kind of grown up with that real kind of natural look for makeup, but don't get me wrong, I have done some really bold statement looks going out and when I worked at the airport as well. It was quite fun just to have a different glamorous eye look every day when working at the airport. Definitely needs patting in as well. I think that's because I like such a natural look with makeup. If I was to ever wear heavy makeup, like it really freaked me out. So if I ever go to oh, years and years and years ago when I used to go to you know like all the different makeup stores within a department store I oh gosh I used to be on a mission to find like the perfect foundation and every time I ran out of a foundation I don't know I really really enjoyed shopping I loved makeup counters and yeah if I was ever to get tested on a foundation the amount of foundation that they apply on makeup counters I'd just be like oh my goodness what have you done like I literally don't wear foundation like this yeah it was just too much now we are all so different when it comes to applying makeup I've always been less is more on the foundation I don't like to look like I've got foundation on so if I ever do look like I've got foundation on like it, it kind of really freaks me out but yeah I'd love to try some more heavier looks now I have used the matte clay foundation from the body shop and that is more of a heavier look. It's not really the foundation for my skin because I have dry sensitive skin so fresh new be more moisturizing is the better foundation for my skin. But yeah I have tried last summer I was using the matte clay foundation and it's more of a long wear foundation so if you think of like 24 hour long wear foundations it is more one of those it's more of a thicker consistency it's the matte look. I usually like the dewy look a bit more natural look so yeah I did actually enjoy wearing the matte clay foundation for probably quite a few videos last summer but yeah I am I'm definitely more of a fresh face, natural glowing girl, I think, when it comes to foundation, especially because I've got dry skin and I just feel that it helps keep it really, really moisturized when it is the fresh nude and more of a lighter coverage. I just feel like I need the help of a beauty blender to blend this in, which is fine because that's something I normally do anyway. So I am gonna get my beauty blender and just dampen it down and then just help kind of press all that excess concealer in. It just helps to kind of blend it in a bit better and not look as heavy. Sometimes if I just apply concealer with a brush, it can kind of look a little bit too patchy and heavy. Yeah, I feel like that is looking much better now. The brush set doesn't come with a brow brush, so I'm gonna use my body shot one to comb the brows. 
Again, this one is bamboo as well, cruelty free and vegan, so it's all natural fibres as well. I'm going to use the Smoky Tomb One Gel Liner from The Body Shop and just quickly do my brows. I swear, every time I do my brows lately, I'm just getting worse and worse at doing them. I might try some different brow products. So if you have a brow product that you absolutely love, let me know down below in the comments and I will try it out because I'm just getting flipping useless at it at the moment like literally what a mess so I just put some concealer on the back of my hand and just gonna try and neaten up this absolute mess of my effort of doing brows. Now I absolutely love the excuse of brows are sisters not twins so brows are sisters and not twins. Oh we've got look at that got two hairs which are just molted out there. Now it did say on the website to expect that but a few uses so you know I'm happy I can just literally hang them off but you can see it's quite a few now. Oh my goodness, and that is quite a lot to come out. So, gosh, that is a lot though. I mean, it's all right for some to come out, but that is lots coming out, guys. That is quite a few. Oh, they're just coming out and coming out now. So, I think it's fine for a few to come out, but I feel like there is an awful lot wanting to come out of them now. Like I say, I will wash them after doing my makeup and then, you know, once they've been washed again, after applying, once they've been washed after applying the makeup, they might be better, but there is absolutely loads coming out of there. Like, I think that is a bit much. Oh my goodness, literally, guys, look at that. That is a lot of bristles to be coming out. Can you see all them, guys? <gasps> no, no, no. That is too, too much. <sighs> Do you know, last week I was a little bit more hopeful about these brushes. That is a conceal brush. Maybe now I've pulled those out. And once I've washed them, we might be all right. Yeah, let's see how we get on with the other brushes. Again, there's just more coming out. Guys, this is not good. I expected a few. I was happy for a few, but I have never, ever used brushes where this amount of hairs has come out. Like, literally. Oh, my gosh. Look at that one. Oh, in fact, look at that clump. Guys, this is not good. I'm gonna have to back up after this video. They retail at 32 pounds on the website. It said 32 pounds, but then they are on offer at 12 pounds, I do believe it is. I'll leave the price on screen that I purchased them for. I'd be on the phone if I paid 32 pounds for them. I wouldn't be happy. Maybe it's a bit of a disclaimer and a way out to say, to expect that the bristles, some of them will come out. And guys, let me know. Have you had makeup brushes before where the bristles have come out? I personally haven't. I did see a consultant use the Fresh Nude Foundation Brush from the Body Shop and about three hairs came out of that. Mine didn't molt. Or did one hair come out of mine? Literally one hair or two hairs, three at the most, came out of my fresh nude foundation brush from the body shop and it's never molted since. And that was on the first use. So do all makeup brushes molt slightly? I've just never known it before. I know one of my old blusher brushes did molt a little bit, but that was when it was about five years old. So yeah, guys, let me know down below in the comments if handmade brushes are expected to kind of molt a little bit more. And if you have had any brushes that have molted upon first use yourself. Three eyeshadow brushes here. So we've got a fluffy blending brush. We've got more of a flat packing brush and then we have this little kind of stumpy rounded brush which a lot of people like to use on the under eye and then we have this little brush here which is an angled blush brush which you could use for eyeliner i've just picked out this palette here which is the paint in color palette from the body shop let's try and do something where i can use that one there as a little bit of an eyeshadow liner Right, so I think I'm going to use that colour for the 
little bit of liner. So if I use this colour maybe in the crease, let's have a go with this one in the crease. So I'm going to need my mirror back for this, aren't I? I'm just going to pop that in the crease. Now I haven't got a base on, so should I do a bit of a base first? Let's do a little bit of a base first. Now I'm just going to use a Fresh Nude Concealer. It's not an eye primer, I'm fully aware of that, but I do think it's going to help the eyeshadows to stick. So I popped a little bit of Fresh Nude Concealer all over the eye as a little bit of a base. Now I know it's not a primer, using a concealer isn't a primer, but it's what I have, so it's what we are going with. Play it into the crease. Feels nice. Seems like any other nice fluffy blending brush. It's yet to mold, so we shall see how we go with it. Quite happy with that. Why is the shadow? As I expected it would. So concealer can crease on the eye, so it's always better to use an eye primer. I always loved the Urban Decay eye primer years ago, so I think I will get that again. Let me know in the comments if you have a favourite eye primer and I'll try it out. I do want cruelty free though. I feel like it's blending perfectly fine. I don't feel like the longer bristles in there have affected it in any way. You know, like it hasn't worsened the effect of the application of the eyeshadow. Let's try this one here with the other eyeshadow brush. This is like the flat one. You just kind of pack it on more with this one. Yep. Perfectly happy with this. This one doesn't seem to be molting at all. Very soft. Subtle. So yeah, I feel like this brush is quite cute for popping eyeshadow on the inner corner. Because so I've been after a little brush like this. This colour here, so the lighter one, and just go under the eye with the lighter one with this brush. Now it does feel quite firm, if I'm honest, when I'm using it under the eye. It's kind of skipping a little bit as well. So the brush that I wanted the most out of the set is a little bit disappointing for me, but oh, never mind. These things happen, we live and learn. It was good for doing this area here, but for under the eye, it's a no from me. Dark brown here to create a little kind of eyeliner wing. So guys, I've not done this in so long, so please bear with me if it looks shocking. I think they can just really look stunning having an, a bit of an eyeshadow wing. It's a really nice kind of subtle effect that can just look really really beautiful. Now I've done mine quite thick because yeah it's something that I just haven't done in a very very long time. So I do need to kind of practice and perfect it. But you do get the gist of it. Like they're not even even guys, like literally. They are not even even. Let's go further across the eye so you can see how it would go as an eyeliner. So yeah, I feel like this brush is definitely good enough for the job. It's just my technique itself, which isn't good enough for the job today. Yeah, it's a lovely little brush. It hasn't malted. Really nice, nice and sturdy. I think with practice, that one would be fine. This one for bronzing. So lately, I've been absolutely loving the coconut bronzer. So this is the Coconut Glistening Glow Bronzer. It's got the two halves, so it's a highlighting bronzer. It gives it a really nice glistening glow to the skin. You can just use this half for a bronzer and that half for a highlight, but I like to swirl my brush all around and then use it as a bronzer. This brush feels really nice and soft, really nice and sturdy. Now, of course, because it has got a short handle, I will be applying more pressure 
with this than I would if the brush had a, a longer handle because if you hold a brush like up here and you apply less pressure to the face so obviously there will be more pressure to the face applying more product because it is a short stumpy brush but you know I'm quite happy with that and I think going on holiday and taking this brush set away I'd be quite happy to do that we'll have to see obviously the concealer brush if that one will make it on my holidays my baby hairs up here i've hair sprayed it out of the way today look at that hair dye moment that is the hair dye moment and not the bronzer guys so <laughs> having a bit of a hair dye moment up there but yeah i feel like this brush is really really nice i think it's decent enough to be in the makeup bag i feel like it's perfectly adequate to get takeaway on holiday so yeah i'm not going to argue with this brush i've not seen it molt yet guys let me know if you have i haven't it has got lots of bristles sticking up but these ones if i pull them they're not actually coming out like they're just not coming out this one here which i'm going to use for blusher so i'm going to use the shimmer in o2 coral for the blush today and i'm just going to swipe the brush all over again it feels really really soft it does probably apply a lot more pressure again it feels like it's quite stumpy it doesn't feel as nice as my angled blusher brush from the body shop but it's a nice enough blusher brush so i'm going to use this one as a highlighting brush then so i'm going to dab into this lighter side of the coconut glistening bronze which is quite ironic because i've got something pretty similar in here from charlotte tilbury i bought this highlighting set duo from charlotte tilbury about six seven years ago now and i used to use it quite a lot i tried contouring with this one didn't really work but i might start using it again as a bit of a bronzer for me contouring just doesn't seem to work i don't know it's just <laughs> I don't know whether it's my face shape, probably my technique. I probably just feel like, you know, it's not for me. But I love highlight. Like, I love highlight so, so much. But yeah, when it comes to sculpting and using a contour, it's not something that I have mastered yet. But I think I tried it once or twice or three times with this set and then never tried it again. So... <laughs> Maybe I will just have to try it again. There is just this brush which I haven't used from the set and this one is, I'd probably use that for blusher maybe or bronzer. Just got that flat brush there. Feels really soft. Now it has got a really small handle. So it'd probably be perfect in your handbag if you like to take a makeup bag around with you. It's not something that I have ever done for nights out and stuff. I've never carried makeup around with me to reapply. But yeah, that's a nice little petite brush for your makeup bag for blusher or maybe a little bit of bronze if you need to touch that up during the day. So, you know, I'm going to give this brush another little chance and use it in here the highlighter just to highlight my brow bone so yeah it just feels really firm so i think i'm just gonna use it for just adding a little bit of color here because i feel like it was the perfect size for that i'll just finish the look off with the matte lip liquid in nairobi camellia and i will also use the lash hero fiber extension mascara as well we'll just set my makeup with the rose dewy glow face mist from the body shop but yeah i'm quite happy with the overall look i do feel like my foundation hasn't settled quite as well as it normally does but i have had the odd kind of dodgy day in the past and i think last week because i wasn't feeling so well i probably didn't look after my face as well as i normally would so i think it is a little bit more drier because i i guess i didn't rush to moisturize every morning last week like literally i was probably nourishing my face let's say after lunch so I'm not gonna blame the makeup brushes on my foundation so if I show you just around here is a little bit 
kind of red and patchy and on the nose but I do believe that is me just not looking after my skin as well as I should have done last week when I was lounging around in bed and meditating so overall I'm quite happy with the brushes I'm just I'm not overly keen on the concealer brush how much it malted do you know what guys let's go and wash that concealer brush and see if it molds any further when washing it. Come on, let's go and wash it and see what we think. So I'm gonna clean the makeup brush with what I've been recently using to clean all my makeup brushes. And that is a Tea Tree Skin Clearing Face Wash from The Body Shop. This is what I've been using to clean my face as well on the occasions when I've had a few blemishes from wearing a face mask as well. And yeah, it's got purifying tea tree oil in it. And I just feel it's really good for cleaning makeup brushes. Seems to get them really nice and clean and of course having the added benefits of the tea tree in there helps to keep them that little bit cleaner with its natural antibacterial properties. While we are in the bathroom I can just add into this that Freya absolutely did steal this toothbrush and she absolutely loves it. So this is the natural bamboo toothbrush that I got from my little eco shop and I was a little bit concerned about the bristles, the bristles, the bristles being a little bit too firm on this but Freya said that they felt really nice and soft, softer than her other toothbrush but she felt like they were giving her teeth a really good clean so definitely a 10 out of 10 from Freya regarding the toothbrush so the toothbrush has definitely been a winner and yeah I'm gonna have to get myself one now. I'm gonna use this little silicone tool which I don't believe is available from the body shop anymore but I bought this about a year ago and it's what I've been using to clean my makeup brushes. So I just dampened it underneath the tap and then just going to add a little bit of this, don't need much, it's a tiny little brush. So first of all I'll just clean it in the hand like this, get all that soap in the bristles. So just like so, give it a little rinse. Add a little bit more soap from the hand again and just give it a bit of a clean on here and then what I'd like to do is just add a little bit of water to this as well. So are any more bristles coming off so far? Not yet, there's one that looks like it wants to. I'm going to add a bit of water into this. So we just got a few more hairs wanting to come out. Look, there's a real big chunk here that wants to come out really big chunk isn't it when you think about it so that is one chunk that's coming out I'd like to think once I finish cleaning it that no more bristles will want to come out as it's had a really good clean and scrub on here I feel like if anything's going to get the bristles out it's this little cleansing tool here so yeah we have got more bristles wanting to come out again get it on there again so i'm just literally scrubbing it under the tap like this so yeah we have got more bristles wanting to come out again might just be that this one is the brush that's not the winner and it might not be that every single concealer brush is like this. So I'm going to use this here, which kind of gets all the soap suds off and kind of like helps to dry it. I'm going to use that one there. See, that one's pulling out a few more. So it could be that this brush just isn't the best or it could be that in a few more washes, a few more uses, it won't do it again but yeah it's doing it a lot again so I think we're just gonna have to say that this brush molts a lot quite a few bristles are coming out again now and this is what I use on all my makeup brushes when I'm cleaning them so I like to get all the suds off there and it's just bringing out quite a few bristles in there I don't know if you can see and quite a few on here as well so they are all coming out I just give it a bit of a and a dry so what else I like to do is grab a flannel and I like to just kind of do this with the bristles find that it gets out a lot of moisture and none of the bristles on any of my other brushes have ever come out when I've done this but yeah I can see that a couple of hairs have come out on the flannel there this is just a dry flannel and again they are wanting to come out again although that one looks like it wants to come out and it's not coming out so I wonder I wonder if we've pretty much got them all out now. Just do this a few times. Yeah, maybe it's finally starting to stop molting. Maybe we've got them all out now. 
but yeah let me know if you have bought any of those brushes um but yeah it's still molting guys i feel like all the other brushes have been perfectly fine as makeup brushes not the other ones really molted there was just the eyeshadow brush that was not as soft as i'd like it to be so yeah i think that brush and this brush are yeah they're just not that great other guys so guys that is the lemon piece bamboo brush set from my little eco shop they do call it a professional brush set on the website they do also say that the brushes molt on their first uses i wouldn't necessarily call it a professional brush set but i can also see that there is a brush for everything you would need doing your makeup so in that respect it has got everything that you would need but i just feel like the quality of a couple of the brushes are a little below par for definitely a makeup artist this one was just a little bit too firm for my liking so it did feel a little bit uncomfortable under the eye area and then the little concealer brush the fact that it's malted so much is not great if it does stop malting then of course I'll keep it in my makeup bag if it carries on malting then it will be going in the bin full price I wouldn't be happy if I'd have paid 32 pounds for them but for 12 pounds or 12.99 I'll leave the amount I paid on screen and yeah yeah, for £12, £12.99, I think they're perfectly adequate brush set. I think the fact that they come in this little bag is perfect for taking away on travels and your holidays. If you are somebody who likes to top up your makeup during the day or on a night out, then it's perfectly decent, small enough bag size to pop in your handbag. And I just love the fact for at home as well, they're in a little bag, which will prevent them getting covered in dust. So overall, I think it's a really nice, sustainable brush collection that's vegan, cruelty free. And I love the fact that it's bamboo because it's the fastest growing plant. So it's really, really sustainable to harvest and yeah I just feel like it's a really nice brush collection with just those two brushes that have been a bit of a disappointment but guys let me know what you thought of these brushes and if you own them yourself let me know did your concealer brush or any of the other brushes carry on molting for you or was it just the first couple of uses and now you find that they're absolutely okay i'd love to know so let me know down below in the comments so guys i hope you all have a wonderful week i'll leave everything linked down below all the makeup and the brushes themselves and i will see you all next tuesday thanks guys bye